G'day, hi, this is Eric here, and in this tutorial we're going to be going through Bills to Pay. And that's it over here. Now, just before I uh, go any further, it's a bit of a historical screen in that it used to be from the days when people used to pay by cheque. So there used to be a little envelope thing here and an envelope icon, and then you could pay it and you could write out the cheques and all that sort of stuff. So it's not as important today as it used to be, but you can still use it. It is, however, important if you are on invoice basis GST. And we strongly recommend that you don't do invoice basis GST because it really complicates things. Um, but with invoice basis GST, all your GST is calculated using the invoice date of your supplier's invoices. So all of these start becoming important. The only other time that you could maybe use the screen is if you have, like if you're on a central place for keeping track of all the bills that need to be paid, and then your boss or someone needs to have a look at the report of which invoices need to be paid, and then approve some of them and that's one scenario, or possibly also if you're short of cash and you've got to delay paying all your customers and you've got to be careful about who you pay and when. So it's pretty straightforward. Basically, you, as your bills come in, you enter all the bills, uh, just type them in, and then when it comes to paying the bills, you tick pay and then you click submit when you've written when you've paid it with internet banking and then you'll see that they've been posted to the cash book down the bottom and now there's a little bit of a problem let's say that these two bills for catworks were paid with one amount let's say but the golden rule for the cash book is that every line on your bank statement must match one line here. So we really want to make this into one line. So to do that, what you do, what you do is you go right click, merge with, and you click the other one. Are you sure you want to merge it? Yes. And now it's been made into a split. And those two transactions that you saw before are now in here. And now next time you do a bank import, this transaction will be reconciled, it'll become ticked, and it'll all be, it'll match your bank statement. And just one other thing, in bills to pay, you can put in a split up here if you want, you can select split, if for some reason you need to separate it into two different categories and if you want to print an envelope if you're still doing it the old way double click and then click print envelope and you can configure the envelopes from the screen here so that's basically bills to pay so uh, look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial see ya bye